So this week I'm going to show you how I made my Thanksgiving shirt. First of all, I googled turkey leg coloring page. You could google um, turkey leg um, graphic, uh, JPEG, whatever. Um, but then I am extremely picky, so it took me a few minutes of scrolling until I finally found the one that I wanted. So when I finally find the turkey leg that I want, I right click, save image as, and then I just save it as turkey. And then I go into my Cricut Design Studio, which is where I cut my um, graphics. I load a new project, and then I will go over to upload. I will go into my upload image, and I will find the turkey where I saved it at. And then I will click simple because it is a simple design. It's not very complicated. And then click continue. Um, take, out, take out the background so that when I cut it, there won't be a background. Um, save as a cut image because I want it to cut and not a draw and print or anything like that. So I save it as turkey leg. And then I put turkey leg in the tags. I'm not really sure if that's necessary. And then save it. And that will take me back to my page with all of my uploaded images. I just go and click the turkey leg that I just uploaded and go to the page. After that, it's all about designing the shirt. I had seen a similar one online somewhere uh, that wasn't exactly what I was wanting, so that's why I was just designing it myself. So, um, like I said, from that point, you just, I just kind of, you know, figure, figured out kind of what I wanted, just adjusted it. Um, this is all the process of me adjusting it, trying to figure out exactly how I want it. Then it's time to add the words to that I'm going to add to the shirt. I couldn't get it to do exactly what I wanted it to do in my Cricut Design Space. So I decided to jump on over to Adobe Photoshop so I could kind of do it exactly how I wanted it in there. I could add more effects and um, get it just the exact way I wanted it. I did do it with a no background so that I wouldn't have to take that out. I also... When I saved it and got it just how I wanted it, I saved it as a PNG and that way the background wouldn't be. Then I went and I uploaded it just like I uploaded the image that I took from the internet. I did have to do a little bit of editing even on the words once they, I got them into my Cricut design space. Um, they were a little bit further apart and things that I wanted. So I had to go and um, take the words, separate them. Um, that way I could shrink them down and, and um, put them the way exactly I wanted. I go, did, just, did decide to go ahead and save my project just you know, like I did just then because it was being contrary and I didn't want it to, to lose all the work that I had already done. The final step is to make it. So you go in here and I always always remember that when you're doing vinyl you have to mirror the image and I always adjust it on my mat just a little bit over so it's so as not to waste any more vinyl than I have to. Uh, then you go down and you will click the continue button which will take you onto the cut screen. 
After that, um, you will set your material. I always do vinyl plus instead of just vinyl. Uh, and then you will cut your, load your mat and cut your vinyl. I really wish that I had recorded some video of the vinyl cutting and the actual making of the shirt, but I didn't. I forgot, but here is a picture of the finished product, and this is going to be my Thanksgiving Day shirt. Hope you guys have enjoyed watching. I'll talk to you guys soon.